Well, we're a little nervous at the moment. Um, it's hard to say what the results are doing. As far as when we'll know all the answers, we got a couple days left. We wanted to bring more attention uh, to the wood stove and to the uh, future potential of the wood stove. There's all this new technology on the market that's making them incredibly clean and incredibly efficient. And we wanted to highlight where this technology can go and how it can be part of our renewable energy future. We have 12 stoves from six countries. The Maryland stove is the only stove that has what's called a coaxial stack. The other thing that is really interesting is they have a fan and they're the only stove in the competition that has a combustion fan. In fact, there's no stove on the market anywhere in America uh, that has a fan. We're setting up now to measure the efficiency and emissions of one of the candidate stoves in the competition. In order to measure the emissions, uh, it's normally very difficult. We're interested in particulate emissions and we're interested in carbon monoxide emissions. It has been the Achilles heel of wood stoves is that there's too much pollution. And so what we're doing here is showing stoves that really emit no smoke. And this is how a wood stove should be. And this is how it can be if we invest in the R&D and, and get these stoves uh, um, you know, on the market and people know about them so they know that there is, are stoves like this that they can buy. O2 is uh, 6 percent so far. Huh? Okay, so, so right now we're right dead center in the particulate sampling point. In this particular run it looks like the particulates are coming out kind of high based on the number of milligrams that we're getting. When the test is all over we'll get a good look at the filter and we'll be able to look at all the data and, and see. At the end of this test we're going to use a separate gas analyzer in order to confirm the CO readings that we're seeing as well as double check the oxygen readings and the stack temperature readings so that we can put it all together to get an efficiency number. We got really really good results yesterday and we're not getting the same today and so I'm not sure what's going on yet but we'll see as soon as it's all finished up. So I think there, the, the issue here then is uh, perhaps that of providing more secondary air to help complete the combustion process. So if I had a hunch, it's because we're limited in how much air we can provide by the fan rather than a draft. In a traditional stove, when you load it with more wood, you get right. more draft and more airflow to compensate. Yep. In our stove, that doesn't happen. You get the same amount of air no matter what you put in. More, more air would really help you. Unfortunately, our fan is, is at full power, so there's nothing right. we can do to add more air. Okay, in the moment everyone's been waiting for, this stove did exceptionally well in all categories, and I would like to announce the first place winner, the grand prize to Woodstock Soapstone. Well, we made this stove specifically for this contest, and so everything that we did was oriented toward making something that was not just high performance, but also affordable. And I think the thing that we're the proudest of is that we have a very efficient, very low emission stove, but it's going to sell for less than $2,000. Our stove got the award for lowest particulate emissions, uh, which means we produce the uh, lowest amount of soot or other small particles uh, in the burning of our stove. In some ways that makes it the cleanest stove. Just coming here and looking at all the different competitors was amazing. I learned a ton from absolutely everybody here and I can't wait to go back and apply it on the next version.